uh, welcome everyone and I wanted to offer a class on yoga to inspire creativity I've been oh my goodness I've been watching some amazing things um, first of all I don't know how many of you saw the Stephen Sondheim tribute that was going around social media where um, just hundreds of musical theater people gathered in Times Square to sing a song from Sunday in the Park with George. It was just beautiful. And I was thinking about his creativity and I think he must be a yoga yogi. He had to have been, or at least I'm sure he was a meditator. And then two other things really quick. Uh, Tick, Tick, Boom, if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. It's Jonathan Larson's story. He was the uh, the creative genius who came up with um, so many so many inspiring uh, musicals, but also Rent was was his big um, claim to fame. And he died really young, and I didn't know his whole story. That movie is just a great example of creativity and just being staying uh, on your path when you know what it is you're supposed to be doing. And then the other the other thing, one more thing. Um, chef's table if you haven't seen that i think i'm late to the table my kids turn that turn that show on to me also on netflix a documentary about gosh some creative chefs restaurateurs who i've watched a few of them already and i just i can't wait to go back and watch more so i commend all three of those uh, to you for your contemplation and your creative inspiration. Stephen Sondheim, listen to some of his musicals, watch Chef's Table and um, Tick, Tick, Boom. So good, so good, so good. So as we begin our practice, I encourage you to sit up or lay down, find a comfortable position so we can begin our meditation practice, our centering practice. And I'm gonna suggest a mudra for creativity. Um, as well. So the thumb will touch the third finger. And this is ether mudra. I wasn't familiar with this until I looked it up. So let's just try it. Um, sometimes these mudras can inspire us as well as all the other aspects of yoga. So as you lengthen your spine, draw your shoulders up, back and down. Perhaps you'll close your eyes. And we can just imagine that we're in the same room together, creating energy with our, our focus. And before we start, just take inventory of all the senses, your connection to the surface beneath you, the sensation of your clothes against your skin, And wherever your skin is not clothed, <laughs> that's a weird statement, but wherever that your skin is, uh, is making contact with the air, feel the temperature of the air against your skin, so your face, your hands, your bare feet perhaps. Notice the sounds in the distance. And notice the sounds closer in to your space. And so as we come to our mats to practice, we allow all of the external world, the world of our senses to be. The world will continue turning and we will be on our mats as we practice taking this time for ourselves just to be present in this moment and present in this moment together as a group. As we arrive, just begin to soften the belly. Invite a deeper breath you keep your um, 
mouth gently closed and invite that breath in through your nostrils, maybe you'll notice the sensation of the coolness of the air. And fill up the throat, the lungs, the belly. And then allow the breath to gently leave the nostrils. Maybe you'll notice there's some warmth that has gathered as the breath leaves your body. Just take a few more breaths here. Just enjoying the sensation of breathing in slowly and breathing out even slower. If you notice on your exhales, your face gets a little softer. Maybe your hips relax a little more. You just become a little more present with every round of breath. So let's take a few more together. And so it's no surprise that this yoga practice is a great tool for inspiring our creativity. We, we are centering right now and here we are clearing our prefrontal cortex so that insights can come in and we are slowing down our, our breath so that our nervous systems are, are um, parasympathetic nervous system comes on board and, and we are just more ready for that flow. So as you um, begin, let's uh, blink open your eyes and change the cross of your legs if you're seated. If you're laying down, come on up, have a seat with us and take a big breath in. Just let your shoulders roll down and lift your gaze, stretch the front of the throat. And then as you exhale, bring the chin down to the chest, just some gentle stretching of the neck and the throat. We'll inhale again, lift our gaze. And exhale, chin comes down to chest. Uh, I think this is our third one, let's see. <laughs> and then on the last exhalation, just let the chin come on down and take a gentle um, turn towards your right shoulder. Notice what happens. See if you can keep that right shoulder down away from the ears. And then take a semicircle on over to the other side. No worries if you went to the left first. Just move the chin in a semicircle right to left. Just working out the kinks. Keeping the breath slow and steady. And then on this next one, maybe you'll decide you want to draw some circles in front of you with your nose. Maybe you imagine you're actually painting. Maybe painting is your creative outlet. To imagine what color would you paint with your nose? <laughs> Switch directions before we get too weird. Just make the circles as big or as little as you are ready. And then find some stillness. We'll sit up tall again, draw, the, draw the, those shoulders, these are shoulders, up to your ears. Just exaggerate that and then roll them down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take a couple more. Notice any sounds, crunches, pops. Reminding us we're human. And then as those shoulders roll down and away, just take your hands to your legs and take some gentle hip circles. We'll go in one direction, maybe counterclockwise to start. Making any minor adjustments you need to make for your body. So switch directions. And 
then we'll unbind our legs so you can, if you're sitting on something, remove it, let your legs come down, and then take your hands be behind you, just windshield washer, the legs side to side, and get the hips a little more warmed up. And then take your hands and pink up your feet. Just give them a little pat. And then we'll come on up to tabletop. So I have lots of carpeting underneath me, layer after layer. So if you don't, I, I um, suggest that you take your blanket and place it under your knees. And have your blocks handy. And then take your hands, spread your fingers nice and wide, let your hands be under your shoulders and your knees under your hips do a little i call this my sophie shake because i have a chocolate lab that is named sophie and she kind of shakes her tail when she's happy to see us so sophie shake it out and then drop your belly lift your gaze inhale come into your cow shape and then a gentle exhale as you round into your cat drawing the belly into the spine chin to the chest We'll move the spine in this direction to warm it up. Good. And you can get creative with your cat cows if you feel so inclined. You can take some figure eights, maybe, maybe make them a little funky. You can decide you want to take your hips back to your heels. Just move with your breath. So maybe keeping the cat cow shape is where you are today just move with your inhales and your exhales so that your body is becoming inspired by each breath so the movement is inspired by the breath we're staying alert but relaxed good take a couple more And when you find that you are satisfied, take your uh, Halloween cat shape to its limit, press the mat away, and let the chin come down to the chest. Draw your belly into your spine. Good. <clears throat> and then slowly release that. We'll take the left arm, swing it on up, follow it with your gaze, open up that left shoulder. And then thread the left arm under the right, coming into the thread, the needle shape. So the left hand is palm face up on the ground. The hips are uh, square as can be. And then the right arm lifts up. Maybe your gaze follows it. Take a big breath in and a slow breath out as you bring your right hand down to the mat, press yourself up. And then inhale the left arm up and exhale it down. Good, we'll do the same thing on the right. Inhale right, lifts, right arm lifts, follow it with your gaze. Exhale as you thread it through, right temple comes down to the mat. Inhale, keep your hips kind of square and lift the left arm up. And exhale, take the left hand down to the mat. And then inhale right, reach up and exhale lower. Let's take two more each side. So you can move at your own pace, but keep it with your breath. So left arm lifts, inhale, and exhale thread. Inhale the right arm up, and exhale lower it down. Inhale, reach up, and exhale. And you might get creative as you move through these shapes maybe you want to take a little shoulder circle or a half bind just keep it inspired by your breath good let's take one more round your own pace so if it feels really good slow it down or speed it up make it your own Good. And we'll take our knees wide when you're ready. Just we'll meet together in a child's pose. 
extended child's pose. So the arms can reach forward and the forehead can come down to a block. So this is a good place to use your blocks maybe or the mat and sink the hips back. And take a couple of breaths here. Really enjoy the stretch of the back and the up, the upper back and the lower back and the hips here. One of my favorite early morning poses. And then as creative beings, think about your third eye, that seat of inspiration and intuition that we're placing on the floor. So you might rock that side to side. Who knows what we'll create after this practice, gosh. Maybe a really good pot of soup. Take another big breath in, and then we'll slowly make our way back up to table. Take your hands under your shoulders, maybe a little bit in front of them, and tuck your toes. Let's get a little stretch of the feet. If you uh, lean back a little bit, you'll start to feel that. Yeah, in a big way. And when you're ready, Go ahead and lift your knees. Come into our first downward facing dog. So that inverted V shape, you guys know it. Take a walk of your dog bending one knee and then the other. And decide when you're ready to find stillness in your downward facing dog. Let your gaze be back towards your knees. And let your head be soft, neck soft. And keep that breath, breath steady. Shoulders down away from the ears. Maybe rise up one more time in your toes, stretch the feet, and recommit to your dog, sending your heels toward the floor. Take a big breath in, and then we'll look forward and take a slow walk, no rush, to the front of the mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to to support your lower back, and take some wrist circles here. Just release the wrists. They've been working hard already. And then take your hands to your elbows, if you like. Come into your forward fold. Take some deep breaths here. Long, slow exhalations. Maybe rock from side to side. Just release tension in the lower back. Shake your head yes and no. Good. And then as you're ready, press into your toes, your feet, and keep a bend in your knee as you slowly rise up. We'll come up together slowly, eventually reaching the arms up, getting super long, looking up if you're feeling balanced. Good. And then take your palms together above your crown chakra, right above your head, and imagine you're drawing down all some, some really awesome ideas for your day. Draw them down into your heart, which is where everything mixes. <laughs> Heaven and earth come together right at our heart center. And just pause here. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Draw the shoulders back. Find your mountain. Feet firmly planted. And then take your hands. We'll send them down. Palms face up. Take a really open, receptive shape here in this mountain pose. So draw the shoulders open, squeezing those shoulder blades together and gazing forward. Yeah, solid mountains, deeply rooted with our Heads reaching toward the sky, fully integrated. Good, breathe in. And as you breathe out, we'll take our arms up and sink our hips back. Come into a ch chair pose, sinking the hips back. You can lift and spread your toes, maybe look down at them and then recommit, pressing those toes into the mat, getting a little bit of blood flow into all those joints of the toes, which is great for arthritis. Just bring some blood flow there. Maybe sink down a little bit more. Breathe in and breathe out. And when you're ready, we're gonna take our right arm back and our left arm forward. Take a, a gentle twist, opening that shoulder. Again, creativity here, make it your own. Maybe take a little shoulder circle. 
swimming on back. And see if you can take a gaze back toward that extended right arm. Keep your, take up space here, so fingertips reaching in either direction. When you're ready on your next inhalation, we'll bring that right arm back, sink back down into our chair, recommit to our chair. Pressing all four sides of the feet, drawing the pinkies together as you frame your ears. I know, won't be too much longer. When you're ready, we'll take the left arm back, right arm forward, take your twist in the opposite direction. Just notice one side might be different. Most likely it is. Take your, your swim, if you like, opening that shoulder. Take your gaze back toward that left arm. Breathe in. And breathe out as you draw your left arm forward. See if you can plug your shoulders into the sockets. And then slowly we're going to fold forward. Find your blocks. Good place for blocks here. And then inhale. Maybe your fingertips come to your blocks. Whichever level you like. And then we come into that halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. So length of the spine is accentuated here, crown of the head to the tailbone. So think of that length. And then as you exhale, just bow again. Let your head go. Maybe your legs are a little straighter here. Maybe you still got to bend. Do what you need to do to support your lower back. And then when you're ready, root to rise. So pressing the feet, little bend in the knee, rise up reach up and this time we'll take a hold of our right wrist with the left hand take a side bend over to the left breathe in here nice full breath you get a little free massage of that side body as you breathe in to the lungs good exhale come back up to center and switch sides good breathe in left side body gets the free massage <laughs> All the insides, inner, inner massage. And exhale, come back to center. Good. Reach up. Look up if you're steady. And then take your hands back behind you. Clasp them. Send them down toward the earth and squeeze your shoulder blades together as you shine your heart. And lean back just until you feel the back bend that works for you. Maybe gazing up. Squeeze the shoulder blades a little bit more. One more breath. And then exhale as you come back up. Let's shake that out. Go ahead. One of my favorite things in my classes to do, which we just laugh about, is to shake the right hand left and right. Shake the left hand up and down. <laughs> it's impossible. Shake the left hand left and right. Shake the right hand up and down. Yeah, some days, some days it's easier than others. All right, come back to the front of your mat after all that silliness. Inhale, reach up. We're going to move a little faster with the breath. Exhale, forward fold. Come to your blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Blocks are good. Exhale, step back with your right leg. Good. And then we're going to rise up. Come on up. Find your crescent lunge. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. Feel that strength in your legs. <sighs> Distribute the weight evenly. See if you can find that center, the heart, where all the magic happens. Reach your pinkies toward one another as you frame your ears. We'll take one more breath here, and we'll use our exhale to open up Warrior Two. So send the fingertips out from the shoulders let that left knee rest solidly over that left ankle and then the right heel spins out so that you are your right foot is flat good breathe in and breathe out we'll take that right hand down the back leg and reach up with the left arm re lean back peaceful warrior you can get creative with this and reach for your wrist and come into sky archer if you like breathe in breathe out four sides all four sides of that right foot pressing into the floor 
Good. Inhale and exhale. We'll come back through warrior two. Looking longingly toward the future as we gaze past our left fingers. And then take your left elbow, place it on your left thigh. We'll come into a side angle, reaching the right arm overhead or up or flipping it, taking your half bind with your hand on your sacrum palm facing out. Get creative, get funky. This is your practice. Good. Take another big breath in. Take your right arm, bring it around to, to the right side of that left foot. Take your left hand, spin your right, take your left hand to the left side of your left foot. Spin your right foot so it's facing the same direction. Take a nice big breath in, and then we'll step the left foot back to meet the right. Come on back to your downward facing dog. So downward facing dog can be a nice place to rest for a few breaths. If it's not, there's always the option of child's pose, coming down to your belly. So get creative. We'll be here for two more breaths. So press into all the finger pads of your hands. So again, we get that blood flow into all the joints. Decide if you wanna walk your dog or come up on your toes, stretching your feet, or just get still. So breathe in. Let's breathe out. Good. On the next breath in, look forward. Here's your chance. So you can bend your knees, maybe take a bunny hop, or take a slow walk. Get to the front of your mat creatively. Come on down to the front of the mat, and when you get there, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes, bend your knees, bring your belly to your quadriceps, and draw your elbows out to the sides. And then maybe you straighten your knees a little bit more, maybe not. Good. Whatever you do, relax the face. Here you're getting a free facial. So all the blood flows coming into our faces, making us all look youthful and have that rosy glow. <laughs> Good. Take one more breath. Let it go. And on your next inhalation, come uh, to your halfway lift, either hands to blocks or fingertips to floor. Lengthen the spine. Draw the shoulders way, way, way away from those ears. No scrunching here. And then when you're ready, take your hands to the floor or the blocks and go on step on back with your left foot. Find that runner's lunge. Get that nice stretch of the hip flexor. And then look at your right knee, see if it's solidly over that right ankle. And then decide how you're gonna rise up creatively. Reach your arms up, come into your crescent on this side. So draw those pinky fingers toward one another as you frame your ears. Send that left leg back, smile. Embrace any wobbling. We're all wobbling. We're all wobbly. Take a nice big breath in and then spin that back foot to flat. Send your right arm forward, your left arm back. Come into your warrior two on this side. So if that right knee wants to track toward the left, see if you can keep it over that ankle. Good. Take up space here. Press into the left side of the left foot. And when you're ready, we're gonna flip the palm of the right hand, send the left arm down the left leg, lean back. Peaceful warriors, that's what we are. Maybe reach for Sky Archer, taking your right wrist. Good, breathe in. Breathe out. Good, breathe in one more time. And on your exhale, come back in through your warrior two. And then take your right arm to your right leg. We'll come into a side angle of choice. So 
we always have choices. So you can reach your arm overhead. If you like a little bit more, you can frame your ears. That's quite challenging. Or maybe you want to flip and come into a half bind. Make it your own. Be creative. That's what it's all about. Good. Breathe in. Open up that shoulder maybe a little more if you're in the bind. And breathe out. We're going to rise back up. Find our warrior two one more time. Draw those shoulders down away from the ears. And then spin that back foot so it's facing forward. Bring your hands down to frame the right foot. Maybe take, maybe linger a moment here. Rock forward and back if it feels good. It's just these stretches just feel so good. Sometimes <laughs> when you're ready. Send your right foot back. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Good. Breathe in here. Maybe you come up on your uh, toes, lifting your heels, and then recommit to your down dog, sending your heels toward the floor. <sighs> yeah, strong legs, strong arms. We won't be here for long. Breathe in and breathe out. Excellent. When you're ready, look forward, come up onto your toes. We're going to come into a little plank here. No, no, no. Sorry. You can't call me Spam Risk. <laughs> Do you know Mr. Risk? Spam Risk? They call me all the time. All right. So coming into our plank. <laughs> Have we been here long enough? Yes, we have. Lower your knees. Lower the tops of the feet. Go ahead and lower all the way down. Take it a, make it a slow descent. So using the strength of your arms and then make a little pillow with your hands and turn your head to one side. Good. Sophie, shake it out. Take a nice big breath in and a long breath out. And just feel that connection to the surface beneath you. Feel your breath. And feel your heartbeat. Good. <clears throat> Take your gaze toward the other side. Maybe Sophie shake it out again. I'll take a couple breaths here. Swallowing your throat to just relax that throat center. Good. As you're ready, <clears throat> bring your forehead to the mat and take your hands to either side of your shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide and then take those elbows, tuck them into your sides. And then use the strength of your arms to press up to a cobra. Make that on an inhale. And just use the, the strength of your arms and feel that little bit of compression in your lower back. Only go as far as you are ready. It's a nice posture correction here. We'll take another breath in and then exhale down. Let your forehead come down to the mat. And then we'll take a second cobra. So pressing in whenever you're ready. Maybe you come up a little higher. Do you get creative? And then lower down. Good. Sophie, shake it out. We've got one more. So when you're ready, go ahead and press up. And then use the strength of your arms to come up through your table tuck your toes, lift your hips, have a slow ascent to your down dog. So just make it slow. We did some back bending, so this will be our counter stretch, but take it slow and breathe through it. Take a nice big breath in and a long, slow exhalation, and then lift your right leg up high. And try not to kick your bookshelf over. And then step it forward. Your right leg comes forward. And here's where blocks or blankets are really nice. We're going to take that right foot to the right side of the mat. And then lower the left knee. And we'll come into a lizard pose. 
So you can <clears throat> take your, your elbows and find a little perch. You can stack blankets. Get really comfy. We're going to be here for just a little while. So get creative. How do you want to be in this lizard pose? So the right knee is over the right ankle for the most part. If it happens to um, splay out a little bit, it should be fine unless you feel any pain. Then back off. So let's see if we can be with our breath here in this lizard. It's a nice lizard, not so slimy, just a nice lizard. Good stretch for the hips. So let's see if we can settle in and use our breath. Maybe lengthen the breath a little bit more if it's gotten a little choppy. Sometimes the breath will get choppy when things get a little more challenging. And again, if you have a harder surface than I, you might want to tuck something underneath that knee. And as you move with your breath, maybe you want to lower down a little more to a lower level and experience this lizard pose. This deep stretch on a little different level. Then a deeper level from a deeper level. And be creative. Always the option to take props away and then put them back if you change your mind. No rules yoga. You can't be so creative with lots of rules, right? Let's take three more breaths together. Let's commit. <laughs> We've got this. Slow and easy. Good. One more big long breath. And then as you're ready, take your hands to the mat. Tuck your left toe. Send your right leg up long again without kicking anything. And then, really important to make sure you have enough room. Take some hip circles with this right leg. Work out the kinks. And then lower the right leg to your mat. Find your down dog. Take a big breath in. And then lift that left leg high, get long. And think about where that foot's going to go. Step it up. Lower the right knee. We'll come into lizard on this side. And so if you enjoyed propping on the other side, go ahead, prop to your heart's content. And then just settle in. See if you can soften somewhere. So often when we soften one area of the body, the rest will follow suit. So see if you can soften the brow as you keep your breath nice and long. Soften the jaw as you relax into this pose. Good. Relax the neck. Nice, long, deep breaths. Focus on the breath or a Stephen song, Sondheim song. Or maybe you're having a creative flash of inspiration right this very moment. I'd love to hear about it. Keep the shoulders soft. Take one more big breath in. And soft exhalation. Keep it long. And then when you're ready, peel yourself up. Move your props out of the way. Take your hands to frame that left foot. Tuck your right toes. Step your way back. And lift that left leg high again. And take some circles if you like. 
Maybe going in both directions if it feels good. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Soften the neck. And then as you're ready, skip, hop, jump. Make your way to the front of your mat. Good, forward fold, release the wrists. Take some more wrist circles. Open and close the fists. Good. And then bend your knees, root to rise. We're gonna rise up one vertebra at a time. Rising up, reaching up. Take those palms together above your head, draw them down right to your heart center. Remove hair from your mouth. And then just pause in your mountain pose. Ah. Maybe close your eyes here, release your hands. Come into that receptive mountain, open heart, shoulders down. Lots of space between the ears and the shoulders. Take a full breath in. And maybe sigh it out your mouth. Let something go. When you're ready, blink open your eyes, shake that out. And then we'll step, take a big step with our right foot, come into star pose. We're gonna take up space here. Reach your arms up and spread your fingers nice and wide. Yeah, open up, really open up. And then as you're ready, we're gonna take our hands back behind us. You can. Get creative here. I'm gonna clasp my hands, but if you'd like to do a reverse prayer, reverse namaste, to squeeze those shoulders together, and then press into all four sides of your feet, so toes and heels, right and left sides of the feet. As you come forward, just come into that halfway lift to start. And then if you're ready, go ahead and lower the head toward the floor. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath. Maybe lift your arms a little higher if your shoulders are feeling good. Maybe rock from side to side if that would feel good. And then on your exhale, just let it go. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Come on, halfway up. And bend the right knee. Walk your fingertips over to the right. Just get a stretch in that left inner thigh keeping that right knee over the right ankle, and then take it over to the left. So if that feels really good, you might take a couple more rounds of those. Or join me at the center. And here's where, gosh, if you have a headstand practice, go for it. You could try that. Could take a few breaths here. Or maybe you just bring your hands to your elbows and come into another ragdoll. We're gonna breathe in. And we're gonna breathe out together. Take your time. And if you did go up and your legs are reaching toward the sky, begin to make your way back down. Release your fingers to the floor. Press yourself up. Bring your belly into your spine as you draw your shoulders up to line up with your hips. And we have our head over our heart. And then you can get creative. You can heel toe your feet in toward the center or you can take a nice hop, come onto the center of your mat. Good. We're gonna sink down into our chair pose, coming into eagle. So if you know that eagle doesn't work for you, we'll modify a little bit. But sink down, let your hips come down as we were earlier in uh, our eagle pose. And then bring your weight into your right foot. Imagine those roots growing down deep into the earth. We've all got them. Lift that left leg up and over. See if you can find your balance here. And then take your left arm under your right and maybe you twist like a pretzel or maybe you just bring your arms together in whatever way suits you today. You can bring your palms to touch. And if you made it into a full eagle, squeeze, squeeze that 
eagle. <laughs> Squeeze your arms and legs together. Bring some blood flow there. You can always bring your toe to the floor. Lots of modifications here to make this work. We'll take another breath. As we feel the heat starting to gather internally, see if you can breathe through it. One more round of breath. Breathe in. Let something go. Maybe lift your elbows a little higher. And then on your next inhalation, gosh, fly away. Open it up. Shake it out. Good job. Now, if that didn't work on that side, give yourself a chance to try it on the other side. So feet in mountain pose. Lift and spread the toes. Grow your roots and bring your weight into your left foot. Inhale as you sink down into your chair and then wrap. Wrap the right leg around the left. Good. Take your right arm under your left. Maybe you wrap. Maybe you just bring your palms or your backs of your hands together. Good. Breathe in. Find your drishti, that gazing point on something that's not moving. It's pretty still outside, so the trees are good gazing points. They're not moving in the wind like they were yesterday. Take another full breath in. Good, and a long breath out. And on your next slow inhalation, go slowly. Fly like an eagle. And then lower that right foot. Good, Sophie, shake it out. Good job. We're going to come down to the mat through a squat if you like. Otherwise, come down however you feel inspired. So toes pointing out, legs a little wider than your hips. Just sink down. We'll take one more hip opener because we can. So press the elbows into the inner thighs. Lift your heart. Breathe in. Good. See if you can press your legs into your arms and your arms into your legs. In Anjali Mudra, say a little prayer. Can we get out of this? Yes, we can. When you're ready, creatively come down to your bum. Ah, let it all go. Bring your feet together in Baddha Konasana. Use, let's see, use your blocks. Why not? Support yourself. Blocks can go on either side if you have them. And sit up. As you shine your heart, draw your heart open. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Reach for your feet, and then it always helps me to have a hold of my feet or something as I come forward and just let that lower back release. And come into your Baddha Konasana. So this can look different. You can get creative with this as well. You can take your feet a little farther away from your body. You'll have a different experience of your hips here. You can bring them in closer. So let's find that position and then see if we can get still. Let's get still. Let's bring our awareness back to the breath. And allow that our brains to clear the clear the board. Slow breaths. See if you can let go of tension somewhere, maybe the hips, maybe the back of the neck. Small changes make a big difference. You don't have to do everything at once. See if you can send the breath down into the lower back. Maybe you get a little more Lengthen the spine. Let's take one more slow round of breath together. Good. 
And on the next exhalation, just take your hands to the floor. Peel your way back up to seated. Remove any props. See if you can come into Sukhasana for just a moment. And just notice. Notice how your hips are feeling. So th this easy pose or crisscross applesauce is a hip opener if we haven't noticed. So just notice. Maybe you have a little more a little more flexibility than you thought you did. So let's take the left leg and cross it on over the right. Right heel is up next to the left glute. Give yourself a hug. Take your left hand behind you. Take a gentle twist. Maybe you take your gaze over your left shoulder and notice how much more mobility you have created for yourself in that neck. Take a big breath in, lift the crown of your head toward the heavens and exhale as you take your twist, take your gaze, your peripheral, peripheral vision at least toward the left. See what you can see. Broaden your scope of vision. That's what all of these visionaries, all of the, these creatives did. Good, on your exhalation, unwind and we'll just switch sides. Take your right leg across your left. Give yourself a hug. Take your right hand behind your right cheek. <clears throat> and then inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as you take your gaze over that right shoulder. So chef's table, the, the first one that was recommended to me that I watched was volume two, episode one. And it was about this restaurant restaurant owner in Chicago who, oh my goodness, he was so creative, he is so creative, but his personal story, the way they wove it in, it's just the levels of creativity in that documentary are just, just like nothing I've ever seen. <laughs> the documentary itself is creative, but the guy is just so inspiring. Highly recommend it. And there's many more episodes that are just equally as, I just haven't had a chance to see them all. Take another big breath in as I ramble and exhale, come back to center. And then we'll come on to our backs because we deserve it. Have a block handy. Lower yourself down, hug your knees into your chest. Maybe take some circles, give yourself another free massage. Getting that sacrum all Massage to go both ways. Good. And then take your feet to the floor, heels toward the hips, slide your block underneath your sacrum. If you don't have a block, we'll just come into a traditional, no frills, uh, bridge pose. So you can place your hands on the floor, clasp them underneath you, slide your shoulder blades underneath you. Come on up. But if you have your block there, just let yourself Rest here for three breaths. Open up that chest. Open up that heart. Good. Take one more big breath in. And then lower yourself down if you're in bridge. Remove your block if you're in supported bridge. And lower all the way down. Ah, send your legs long, reach your arms way overhead. Take some ankle circles, maybe some last wrist circles. And then hug your knees into your chest. Take your knees over to your right for one last twist. If you land on a prop, so be it. Use it for your support. Take your gaze over your left to your left. Open that left arm to a T. Open that left shoulder. And see if you can soften the waist. Maybe turn your head a little bit more. Softening the face, the jaw, the brow. And take one more full breath in. Use your exhale to come back to center to give yourself a squeeze. And then take it to the other side. So knees fall out, fall over to the left. Right arm extends out to a T and turn your gaze toward that right arm. Take a nice big breath in. 
stop it somewhere else. See, see if you can notice where you might be holding on to tension and let something go. Maybe it's in the shoulders. Maybe it's a belly. Time to let it all go. Take another breath in. And let your exhalation bring you back to center. And then take any other, any other creative stretches that you like. So maybe it's a banana asana where you bring your legs and arms to one side. Maybe it's a happy baby. Do what feels right. Get creative. Hey, how do you want to spend your one wild and precious life? Is that what Mary Oliver says? And then eventually we'll draw our legs out, let our arms come out to the sides. Again, a gesture of receptivity. So palms face up, squeeze those shoulder blades underneath. Yeah, and find a final shavasana shape that works for you. So you can cover up if you're cold. Or just place a blanket over your belly, under your neck, under your knees. And just be. to deepen the breath. Make small movements. Wiggle fingers, toes. And decide if you are really comfy and want to stay there. I support you. <laughs> but if you're ready to come up to a seat Roll to one side and use the strength of your arms to press yourself up. Find a comfy seat, maybe close your eyes and just take a moment to check in. Check in with the body. Notice if your mind's a little clearer. And check in with your heart. And then you're ready. Take your arms out wide. Reach up for all the goodness. Take it on down into your heart. Bow your head. Give yourself some really good credit for showing up. And then send a prayer out to someone who could use it. Use all this good mojo. Maybe it's Mary with her sore uh, dental work. Let's send some love to Mary. Thank you guys for playing, for getting creative. Go watch a Stephen Sondheim musical. <laughs> Namaste. Sure, that was fun. Yeah.